Hey guys, welcome back to the series, How to Use Poison. This is going to be video number eight, and today we're going to be talking about the effects section. So this is going to be the delay, the chorus, and I felt it was necessary to include the transgate. So let's go to options and reset program. So we have our delay and we turn it on here on the left side here, and then left and right is going to be a different time variation of the delays between your left speaker and your right speaker, which is very cool because you can bring this down to 2-4 and you can bring this second one up to like 5-4. That's if you don't want synced delays. And let's bring this down to 1-4. Kind of gives a different type of sound because the delays are so fast. So we'll bring this back to default and then you have feedback. So all the way down is gonna be one delay and then higher up, you're gonna hear more delays. Now there's this mod depth and this is an interesting control because there's not really much people talking about this control specifically. In the manual, it says that the delay has its own internal LFO that it can adjust the delay speed. But for my ears, it almost sounds like it gives it more of a widening effect. So all the way down. So it almost sounds like the delays are kind of spread out a little further. Um, yeah. I kind of like it, maybe not at 100 for stuff. Maybe it might be cool for patch, but maybe dial it down a little bit. But it's definitely a cool different uh, feature to check out. And then next we have the low cut and the high cut. So as, we, as the delays go on, we can cut out the lows from the delays or cut out the highs from the delays and kind of give it maybe like a band pass delay sound. And then obviously the wet is going to be how much of that delay we want in our final signal. So if we have a lot of it, it's going to almost have like the same volume as our original note if we have less. It's going to be a lot quieter. So kind of think of it as the uh, the volume for the delay itself. And then let's turn that off. And then next we have the chorus. So here's no chorus. And then we have the depth control. So as we go up, it's more detuned. And then the rates. So how fast it's going to be going is pretty straightforward these uh, effects they sound good and they're easy to use it's not too complicated and the next up we have the transcate which is really pretty cool because we can turn any of our patches into a gate and then the smooth knob is to kind of obviously smooth out the gate and make it not so on off sounding So quite a difference there. And then here is the tempo sync. So how fast we want this gate to move. If we want to slow it down. And then here's our pattern. So these red dots are going to indicate that the note is played. And then when they're not, when they're black, that's going to be when the notes are not played. And we can click these and make our own pattern if we like. So if we click all of these off, now we just have one note for every 1 16th. Now we can make our own ones. And then let's do the same thing for the bottom row here. So that's basically the effects in a nutshell, and that's pretty much the series in a nutshell. This synth isn't too complicated, so hopefully after the whole series, if you guys are still watching to this point, hopefully it's now pretty familiar to you. You can get a lot of cool sounds from this thing. I kind of like going to the pulse wave, maybe here, it's a kind of a cool low end kind of thing, bring this all the way down. Put some chorus on, do maybe use in four. And then with some post effects, we can even make this a little bit nicer if we have, uh, where is our blood overdrive? Let's bring this down because it gets kind of scary.
but yeah, that's just a little quick thing. So make sure to play with the synth. It's very cool. You can get a lot of cool sounds from it and it's easy to use. It's a very cool one. So hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, please let me know, leave a like or a comment or subscribe or anything like that. And we'll see you in the next video.